you guys are, are willing to participate, I'll find the book. Yeah. Jeff, what have we had writing that book so far? EQX House Sessions. It's Keller along here with Wombats. It is Murph, Dan, and Tord. Welcome to what we call Studio BB. It is a real pleasure to have the three of you in here. Thank you. Thank it's you, nice yeah. to be here. It's very yes. vibe in here. It's it is. Cozy. There's a lot of fun stuff to look yeah. around. You know, when people first hear the, the radio interview, they don't see it, but when they see the video later, they really get a, a sense for what's going on in here. Mm -hmm. And like, What's in that jar there? What do you see behind you? No, I can't even see it. It's kind of like weird metal. Um, am I okay to take the, the jar down? Yeah, take it down. Those are maple syrup taps. Are they? Oh. I've maple never seen syrup one of those taps before. because you're in Vermont. Oh, right. It's very Vermonty. There are there lots well, of maple syrup taps? Oh, yeah. Those Big thing in Vermont. Oh, right. Maple, cheese, agriculture. Oh, nice. So yeah. When you hammer them into a tree, how long does it take for the <sighs> to come out? You know what? Straight away. I'm going to plead ignorance on the skill of tapping trees. Have you okay. never done it before? It's something I should do. I know. I feel like everyone around here would be experts at like hammering. You know, I tell you what. Trees. That actually that leads me perfectly into something I noticed on your Twitter page, and it's a takeoff on one of your song titles, uh, "Give Me a Try," where you're having your fans just try random things. Safety first. I yeah. did read the tweet. Yeah. <laughs> and being that I'm in Vermont every day, I should try and do the whole thing with the syrup and the trees. I'm here every day and I've never done it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of things in life that you think you're always going to do and you put it off, don't you? And then such as tapping trees. I mean, that's what I'm going to try and do for the next uh, the next 24 hours. That's it. Yeah. Trust me. I'm with you. You seem very creative. <laughs> you, your hat has a teddy bear. Well, this is another thing I just found on your piano as well. And, uh, oh, that's from here? Yeah, that's my cap over there. How did I not know that there's a teddy bear hat in this studio? There's so much stuff to look at. Yeah, it's great. Well, I have to say, you know, the Wombats have gotten so much play on EQX, especially, you know, I know the, the band's been together a decade plus, but Glitterbug especially seems to have so many songs that just connect so fast. You guys did a, a great job putting that together. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. And I noticed um, the last time I saw your band play, uh, Body is a Weapon, if I'm not mistaken, was the first song you played. Maybe it was the first in the, the set list. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know what? I, I like a band that just goes right into a really familiar song and doesn't you know, play games and make people wait. If you have strong material, just, just play it. Yeah, just <laughs> come out the blocks running as fast as you can, really. Yeah. I think, yeah. yeah. Well, I know you have a, a couple set up for us today. So what would you like to play for the EQX uh, we're audience? We're going to play Greek Tragedy. All right, Greek Tragedy, the Wombats here on the EQX House Sessions. We're smashing mics in karaoke bars You're running late with half your makeup on This method acting might pay our bills But soon enough there'll be a different role to work so much I drew up our plans on a chart Cars are flipping I'm in hot pursuit My character's strong But my head is loose She hits like ecstasy Comes up backs the sense But, and the blades rotate, there's just no landing pad I'm better have said it, but darling, you're the best I'm just tired of falling up the Penrose stands I hate this feeling, but I love this part She really wants to make it work, and I really want to let it start Build the water slide as soon as I get home. Oh, and she hits like ecstasy. Comes up and bangs the 
sets out of me it's wrong but surely cheaper seats it comes a great tragedy Thank you. <clears throat> Wombats, Greek tragedy. I love the, the different feel that these songs take on when it's just stripped down and not in a traditional studio and just three musicians playing it. When you're putting songs together, whether it's from Glitterbug or maybe future stuff we haven't heard yet, do you find it best when the three of you are in a room or is there a, a relationship with a producer that really takes it to the next spot? Which works best for you guys? Usually when the song is kind of, um, you know, the, the, the skeletal structure of the song is written, kind of we, we kind of come up with demos which are pretty much uh, good enough to be released anyway. But, um, yeah. Yeah, we normally, like, there's quite a lot of co-production goes on. Um, and as Merv said, we often, like, have a pretty good template and then we take it to a producer and just we normally have a few spots where we want to make it better, whether it's the drum sound or... Um, different synths we want to try or you know different just kind of like getting the extra 20 percent and that's when the producer we worked with um mark came in handy just to like pull us in the right direction and maybe like sometimes we throw a little bit too much at the wall and um mm. so he kind of goes yeah maybe you don't need that there and that there and declutters it a little bit um yeah is it easy to take yourself out of the equation and not be insulted or taken aback a little when somebody wants to change something that you came up with or do you are you able to separate yourself from that constructive criticism i mean personally i love it because the only way that anything can change or move forward drastically is for us not to like be always pitching in our opinions about everything so sometimes it can be really nice but obviously you do get attached you know, if to your like e if your ego things. gets in the way then it's not great yeah but sometimes you do get attached to like demos i think and things that you've done oh, i love that sound or you love you yeah. know like certain aspects of it and it's kind of hard to give give that away sometimes but yeah. you know you have to be like no and um, also if it's if it's for the good of this you know if there's things sometimes you can you can accept you know that someone you go oh actually yeah yeah you're right that's um that's going to make things better but often the label end up um, once they've heard the demos they often get attached to like that recording so that when you when you put something new together that you're really happy with they'll be like oh there's something not quite as good it, it's called demoitis yeah. um and um it's very common <laughs> i'm starting to feel pretty attached to your beard right now <laughs> my beard's getting very attached to my face as well <laughs> how long has that been growing um about seven years no, um, <laughs> it's going well yeah it's been a yeah, at the start of the tour, myself and Todd, we shook um, hands with a very bearded friend of ours from a metal band called Wretched, um, and his beard is just amazing. And we were like, we've never really tried to grow one, so he said, um, right, I think it's time. You know you're 30 now, you've got to do it. That's why I'm sat this 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 direction, so you can't really, <laughs> because I'm so embarrassed about it. <laughs> it's pathetic. I mean... Well, you can see this... Uh attempt at facial hair tonight <laughs> at Ups I'm only going with your lead you know I know how hard it is to grow a beard I'm not a beard guy myself oh, really? yeah, right. they no. should be thankful I'm clean shaven I grew a beard once and it went really really like ginger and really really weird <laughs> but at least yours is like staying pretty kind of brown dark. as guys yeah. we don't know until we try we don't know what's in there yeah <laughs> we just Sometimes don't you just gotta give things a try yeah. <laughs> yes you do yeah. the Wombats tonight at Upstate Concert Hall in Clifton Park and you know, we love that you took the time to almost leave where the club was, come to the radio station, which is quite a little journey, and to very go back. Very picturesque. Very picturesque. Yeah. It was lovely. It's a beautiful trip from that part of New York to Vermont. So what else can we hear from you guys today? Oh, we're going to do Give Me a Try. All right. That's dedicated to the beards. I know that I like to lack success, succeed, but I just need you in that fur coat. With only my necklace on underneath And 
I don't care why This apartment's always cold London can try It'll never swallow me whole And I swear we could be gigantic Everything I need Vicodin on Sunday nights This could be worth the risk Sometimes I'll lose the plot and I cause a scene What do you dream of on the west coast? When my head is aching in GMT And I don't care why This apartment's so ice cold Let London try It'll never swallow me whole We could be gigantic Everything I need Biking it on Sunday nights This could be worth the risk Worth the guarantee This could be the truck that doesn't buy Just give me a try Just give me a try And kind of open your mind Could you give me a try Try, try. I'm shaving with your toothpaste Trying to vacuum from the ceiling The millisecond that you're away I get the loneliest feeling Gigantic Everything I need Vicodin on Sunday nights This could be worth the risk Worth the guarantee This could be the truck that never bites Just give me a try Just give me a try Be kind of open your mind Give me a try Try, try Thank you. Yeah, we should turn them on the oscilloscope work and get like the data going across the TV turns on, but it's all stable. 